and welcome back, gentlemen and ladies, once again to Valkyria Chronicles. We have another character spotlight, this time of the surprise MVP of last game, Rija York. Squad 7 Scout, age 18. Called the Dancer of the Sands, she roamed the desert as an entertainer until the Empire's attack killed business, driving her to enlist. Hmm. Having lost her parents at an early age, she grew up footloose and fancy-free. As a result, she is unused to other people counting on her, which she finds taxi. Also, she... Her goal after this war is to bring back dancing to her hometown, I guess. Like the mighty Kevin Bacon of Days of Yore. Mm. Now then... Let's go back to Operation Cloudburst. Last time you recall, we finished our big fight and dunked some Imperials. We're gonna find out how... Uh, how that all panned out then, I win after the storm the next episode. Very exciting. Let's see what Largo has to say about uh, how this ended. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. Yeah, uh -huh. well, that well deserved one. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Oh, don't start giving that to me now, Largo. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, don't be such a sore loser, Largo. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Oh, give it up. Oh. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. Yeah, at least one person's here, an adult. The one who actually isn't an adult. But I hope. I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Oh! Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. You won't believe how clogged our traffic was over the bridge! Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impression. Of results on your first mission. Oh yeah, that says always so. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? We're coming for you, Maximilian. That's my impression. impressions. Well, let's see. Well, maybe Welkin Welk has something more profound. Bridges are important. Hmm? They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. My goodness. This whole fight was a metaphor all this time. Who'd have guessed? Well, what else is up after our big victory? A parting wish? Sure, let's see how that one pans out. Who's parting, though? It's, hmm. Could it be a party wish, maybe? No, it seems something more um, profound. Indeed. Sorry, this is about all I can do. She's been holding on to those since, uh, rule. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Wildflowers, do your stuff. Oh, I see. She wants them all to be a happy family, too. Very admirable. Chapter 5, The Cloden Wildwood. Hmm, are we going for a tour of the forest now, eh? Ah, new skirmish. I'll have to do that at some point, but uh, let's see what's up in Cloden then. With uh, severing the supply line. Hmm, oh, is that our next mission? Sounds, sounds like an interesting challenge. Thanks in part to Squad 7. The Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. No, oh, no, please, no more thanks, sir. Uh, that pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. What, that one act just, like, pushed the whole... Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. I keep forgetting we're in the militia, not the actual army. Oh, well. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see what piece of uh, 
botany wisdom will save us out of this pickle. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Put on your gillies, boys! Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Well, as we've had maybe... At maximum two operations, if you count both offensives in Vasil as two. Yes, there's not much competition for it. That's the combat. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods, you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous <laughs> plant in Cloden called the Moon Dew that can suck a. All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind. You know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. Mm, yes, perhaps we can poison them all with the moon. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully, your plant won't have eaten it. <gasps> Is the moon do a carnivorous plant? That's scary. I don't want to have to fight Venus flytraps in addition to Imperial goons. Oh, Maximilian and the Triumviri. Mm, are we having a look at the bad guys now? I believe Maximilian was the commander of the... Yes, this looks ominous enough to be the Imperial stronghold. Oh boy. Bertolt Gregor. <laughs> Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. Jaeger. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? Here's the Holy we will Emperor. extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. Dude has an ox skull on his shoulder. Holy... We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden Basin supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Galia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. Awesome! What an amazing bunch of bad guys. I love them all. It looks like uh, General Jaeger is going to be our first challenge if we're going to go head-to-head -head in Cloden. Well, let me tell you, the best one was uh, General Gregor, of course. As much as I joke about the German World War II 
analogies, they're not going too heavy on, like, oh, these guys are supposed to be Nazis, but <laughs> the General Gregor guy was like, Hello, I am a very, I'm a very SS trooper general guy, I'm very evil and German. I'm like, wow, okay, so... This game did have the <laughs> lack of common sense to try and make ridiculous German references. Sure, well, cool. I'll look forward to fighting all four of these goons and presumably going one by one as each of them turns out to be tougher than the other one. But first, we of course once again have to find out how our own mates are doing in, on their way to Cloden. are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. I thought you were a countryside guy. Largo. Here we go. Yes. Oh, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? This would be excellent for my collection. Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Wilkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. This goat feed is a rich source of nitrates for us. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. Groovy. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. Fortunately, Longbeard Goats are so freaking massive, they're exactly the same width as our medium tank! What the heck? Uh, I admire your ingenuity, Welkin, but uh, what are you gonna do about the Edelweiss? Why is Alicia holding a pig in the... Is that a winged pig? I, uh, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't believe we can get out of this woods once pigs fly. That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Come on, that wasn't. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. And the face Alicia makes is still, you know, really creepy, her surprised face. It's so blank and... Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. But all the lyrics were just her going, law. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Night? A Porkavian! It's... a pig? It looks like a Porkavian piglet. Okay. Why does it have wings? What's your story? Get separated from your mom? I'll take a look further in. I... I don't even. Well, what did you find? What could possibly startle him more than a winged pig? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh, well, well, okay. That's, uh... Never, never mind. Even all the way out here, the war still clings. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. 
Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. <laughs> it doesn't say anywhere that a dog can't play basketball. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. No? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Damn, okay. I think Ellet might have competition for his favorite character now. Okay! Enough of dicking around in the woods talking to flying pigs. It's time for Wildwood Warfare at Glowden. Judging from the tactical map, it's time for some action. Ugh, let's get cracking. So... Here is a brief on the task at hand. Yes. The enemy's supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head-on with your tank, while foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Tread carefully. I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. You should be able to see them, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will mean major damage. An engineer can dismantle a landmine by approaching it and pressing the space button when the command appears. Also, remember that a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. Oh, they're anti-personnel mines, not the anti-tank mines. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on their larger anti-tank mines unharmed, but a tank will take tread damage. Oh, okay, so there are anti tank We've heard word that the enemy backup is approaching even now. Get out there and claim that base fast. Alright. Nothing fancy about this mission. We gotta catch the enemy base camp. If Welkin dies, if the, uh, our base camp is occupied, if all allies are killed or 20 turns pass, we fail. Are you normal? Alright. Let's be strategic about this. So I want at least one engineer here back in the uh back in the Edelweiss. Marine in there. And uh Um Let's put a couple of scouts here to back Yeah, um Hmm. Let's put a scout in there. Let's put Alicia since she teams up with Welkinwell. Let's put one anti tank guy in there. Mm. Alright, we're in the woods now, so let's check a bit about these uh, features. Not a lot of. Uh... Alright, I should probably mention. So I leveled up everyone to level 4. I think I got the uh, tank. The Lancer's up to level 5, which means I locked their second uh, secret uh, secret uh, potential thing there. I also bought the Sniper Support Order, and I got better rifles, better sniper rifles, and uh, a lot of new stuff for the Edelweiss. That's, that's everything I did off-screen. Well, our only... definitely not Jan, because he's got his pollen allergy and we're in the woods. Um, I'm definitely... I'm not taking Hector here, because he's metal alert. See, but I'm gonna put Largo over here. And should I have a Shock Trooper or another? I think a second Scout. Um, let's have Wavy, because we have Nadine here, so we have two Scouts, kind of. I, th I think the Edelweiss will kind of handle... ...like that. 